Trump was back on the campaign trail discussing the most critical issues we face today. The windmills now are all breaking down. Do you see what's going on? First time I've seen it. I, I've been preaching against these things. They're horrible for the environment. They kill all our birds. They're, they're destroying our seas. The whales are, you know, we had one whale in 10 years get washed up ashore in New Jersey. Now they, they're coming up every week. They're having, they're being destroyed because of the sound and the vibration. Yep. After falsely claiming wind turbines lead to whale deaths, it was on to another pressing issue, calling Chris Christie a fat pig. Sir, I'm sorry. He is not a fat pig, okay? This man, he, said, he is not a fat pig. No, it's true. And you can't, you can't use the term fat. You're allowed to use the word pig, but not fat. No, the man just said, he's a fat pig. And I said, no, he's not a fat pig. So now the press can't kill me because all I'm doing is responding. I'm responding. He is not a fat pig. After that manic episode, Trump was back on the witness stand inside a New York courtroom defending the financial survival of his fraudulent business empire. Trump keeps revealing that his cognitive decline is so severe, he's not even in a position to try to save himself from his legal troubles. Nor is anyone as senile as him going to be relevant in the next election. Trump's senility loomed large while he was on the witness stand. When Trump was asked whether he was involved in preparing his company's financial statements in 2021, he claimed as president and not in the I secretly won re-election way. Instead, he claimed he was busy in the White House, focusing on Russia and China and keeping our country safe. That's right. Trump is so far gone, he doesn't even know which years he was in the White House. Wait, there's more. He managed to utter the stupidest thing he could say while on the witness stand in his civil fraud trial in New York. Hey, Lawrence, please reveal the one word from Trump that destroyed his entire defense. And so a couple of hours after the judge told Donald Trump, you can do whatever you want, Donald Trump stupidly felt comfortable and in control and then said the stupidest possible thing he could say as a witness. Everybody, everybody was in on the fraud. Question, who within the Trump organization was responsible for preventing and detecting fraud? Answer, everybody. And there, Donald Trump destroyed any shred of defense in the case for himself and his co-defendants, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump. Everybody. You could spend weeks trying to think of a stupider answer than that, and you cannot come up with one. Donald Trump's belly flop on the stand is a good reminder that he has no strategy of any kind. He's going to lose this case and go broke. He's going to be found guilty in his criminal trials, and his life is already over. Of course, we'll hear all the usual contrarian hot takes about how Trump is faking senility in order to get himself off the legal hook. Rubbish. He's going to need a biblical miracle to escape. Most importantly, I brought my Bible. Okay? Okay. <laughs> 